Yesterday we said that today we were gonna be in here reclaiming, so we are. I just went through a couple of screens, not too many. Those two high mesh we're gonna use today because we have JX coming in in a couple hours, so we have to burn this job that requires high mesh. And it's over here, let me show you guys. So there's like a lot of detail in there. It's a distress for the front. The black shirts get it in English and uh, the white shirts get it in Spanish. So that's like a little bottom print that also requires high mesh. Why is it not focusing? All right, so that's that. And as soon as those are ready, we're gonna go ahead and get them coated so we can burn them and set it up. That way we, when he comes in, it's ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and take down, uh, we only need two screens, so we're only gonna take the two down that we need to use. And we're gonna clean up the shop today a little bit because Tom Base is coming in tomorrow to drop off some chemicals because we're running out of chemicals for reclaiming. And if you guys don't remember, the 305 is to get the ink off. The CDR is to get the emulsion off and we ran out of the liquid renew it which is the degreaser and dehazer and that's what gives me no ghost image so that gets rid of all the ghost image and that's how I keep my screens clean so I always wipe the top and the sides so if you guys don't do that maybe when you're printing you get ink on your hands who knows but I always have on the link their Instagram is called advanced screen technology so if you guys want to check them out and get some chemicals from them you're more than welcome um, Tom doesn't like to be on camera, but I'm going to see if I can get him to say something tomorrow. If not, then oh well. At least I'll try to sneak him in. And besides that, we're going to call it an early day today after we print out the film for La Santissima. I don't know if you guys ever ate there, this restaurant, but they have pretty good food. It's Mexican food. And uh, probably I'll take you guys to the restaurant one of these days. Maybe this week when I go drop off the t-shirts. So um, let's continue reclaiming some screens. And once they're dry, we're gonna go ahead and coat them. We do have some already, but we need high mesh. So we need a little bit more. And since we're already reclaiming, I'm gonna do a couple more since we have a seven color coming this week. And let me show you guys what it's gonna look like. So that's the seven color we're gonna be working on this week. And we definitely have enough screens in there plus the ones that I'm gonna be coding today. I might do just like three or four more to be saved because we have uh, three more jobs that require like four more screens. So overall, I'm gonna need like 13, 13 or 14 maybe. So let's go ahead and keep going and get this day Audi. Cause we gotta leave early thanks to El Brian. Hi Brian. What? We, you have to leave early today? Yes sir. Oh, you need a haircut? Yes sir, that too. Nice. What's your two liter? Bro. You're on the healthiest diet, bro. What's up, bro? I'm What's working. It? I'm working. That's what I do. What is it, tea? Yes. Oh, you guys went to Quick Trip? Awesome. Cheese? Yes. You know, I do Never not know me. Uh, I know that. I know. You understand? It. I understand. <laughs> <clears throat> what do we have now? We have a base box drill. How good are these? Find Bro, out. My friend Jay Sanchez went crazy looking for those ranch hot Oh, they did it? Uh huh. Nice. Chipotle ranch? Did you let them know where <clears> they're? <throat> yeah, the but he couldn't find them. Mm. I couldn't find them. I told them they're like under the counter. <clears throat> oh, these are pretty good too. Yeah, pretty good. Not as good, but they're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Bro, check this out. Hold my camera. <laughs> That's funny. The stash, bro. Damn. All the stash and everywhere. Mm-hmm. What's up? <clears throat> All right, you guys. So the screens are dry. They're in the dark room. We're about to start coating after we coat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take some of these down. Um, if you guys notice, I already cleaned around the shop quite a bit. So it looks a little bit more presentable. 
when Tom comes in, we're just gonna detail that a little bit more. Hopefully, nah, I know he's gonna like it. He always had faith in me since I told him I wanted to start my own screen printing shop like five years ago. And he was the one that gave me the chance to get credit through him so that I can start getting chemicals and screens and all that stuff. So I know he's gonna be proud and I just wanna have a clean, nice looking environment when he steps in the building. So these guys are on break right now and they just came to say hi. Hello. Hey, what can you take that? these to, um, to Cactus Birds right now? Who the f Cactus Birds? Can you stop talking? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for my profanity. Thanks. Working on it. Cactus Birds is the lady that works with you. Her name is Jeanette. Oh, okay, I didn't know that was her. Okay, well that's I her. I don't know who Jeanette is. I didn't know that was her. Jeanette friend. is the lady at the front desk. Jeanette, if you're watching this, sorry. He's only been there for two weeks, two? Three, two, two weeks. Two weeks? This is about dark. He'll get to know you. You should come out and say hi to him. Oh, I know. He's right. a little lonely. He needs uh, <laughs> help. You should go shake his hand and say hi. I'm Jeanette, Dude, the I have owner of Cactus Birds. In there. That's not a problem. All I right. just didn't know she had a brand like this. Is this his, this is her brand? Yeah, her Cactus and her uh, partner in crime. So what is what is it about? They make uh, custom. They they go and hunt for custom <coughs> pots, and they plant all kinds of cactus or cacti. Like they have they have some at the film bar. They have some not here. Mm. <laughs> all right you guys we're almost out of emulsion so we're gonna go ahead and use the last of it i definitely reclaim more screens than what i need which is always good so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and use the thinner side of the scoop coater <clears throat> we're gonna go two on the shirt side and one on the ink side and before we do that when we make sure we are coating on top of this shirt so we don't get our screens dirty. Yes, we do. I know that a lot of people like to do one in one but that leaves less emotion on the screen and that creates more pinholes in the long run. So that's why I take a stick to the two and two. And like always, you get rid of the sides, <clears throat> the excess on the sides so that it's super easy to reclaim. Yep. Just in case some of you guys are wondering what spatula I use, to get rid of the excess emulsion when I'm coating my screens, I simply use this two inch plastic spatula. The reason why it's because it's not gonna get rid of some of the emulsion that's within the print area. So you can use like half of it sticking out, half of it stick it inside. So this half is definitely gonna be hitting the middle part of the screen and the other half is gonna be scooping up that excess that's on the side that helps you reclaim a lot faster if you get rid of it from both sides when you get ready to reclaim. So I bought these at Harbor Freight. They're like a couple dollars, if that. If you guys don't wanna use this, you can always cut up like cardboard and maybe an in inch and a half or two inches at most. I don't think I've ever mentioned what I used. So just remember, two inch plastic spatula. It doesn't hurt your screen. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure, so it's pretty simple. Once you do about 10 screens, you're gonna get the hang of it. And what I like to do is I like to scoop it out of the screen and back into the bucket. So I'm not making a mess or trying to figure out if I can put it back into the scoop coder or whatever. But that's just the way I do it. I'm sure you can figure out your own way. So that's why I do that. And we're almost done printing some of the film that we need for today. So let's go see what Brian has. The shop is definitely clean and we're almost ready to get out of here in about two or three hours once we print for JX, which he should be here shortly. Quiet and respect. I was gonna show you guys the job that I'm doing for my friend Jay Sanchez, but there's a logo in there that I don't think I wanna show you guys for probably the obvious reasons, but we're gonna go ahead and get that done for him as soon as the shirts are available. So the Gildan 8000s are out, completely out at McCrary's in Sanmar. 
and I think Alpha Broders. So we're just waiting for them to restock so we can order the shirts. The film's already printed. We have enough screens and we're ready to rock and roll for this week. All right. Oh yeah, if you guys know of any good places where we should go eat out in California, please let me know. Uh, there's this place that we're looking to print their shirts called the Henry. Uh, let me double check on that. Maybe they're happy with their current printer. Yeah, see? It's called the Henry Restaurant. So these are the guys that I'm trying to reach out to. And it's possible that we go take a picture here because it looks like a, a place that people go and take a picture at. Not that I care too much about that. I care more about the good food, but um, I think that they started out here in Phoenix and they moved to California. I don't know the real story, but it's something along those lines. So we're definitely going to go. Ah, man, I can't talk to it. We're definitely going to go out and support them. Even if we don't print their shirts, it's okay. I'm still giving it a shot. What's up, G? ¿Qué onda? Nada. Mira. Sick. <laughs> so, gente, ¿de dónde? <laughs> what up? Finally made it to the building. JX product, producto coming soon. <laughs> All right, you guys, so my dad just left. We were talking about changing the light bulbs. So we're definitely gonna fix those soon. We're gonna get brighter ones. He did agree with me that these are getting old and that's probably why they're so dimmed down. Uh, but JX is in the building, so we're burning his stuff. We're about to start printing the uh, product Producto shirts here soon. These are gonna be the shirts, two different colorways. We got black and white. So the drop is definitely increasing. We're doing more and more, so sounds like you're doing pretty good, my friend. Sir, <laughs> bro, are you serious? You were at Vega Print today? Oh my! How god. long has it been, bro? For real? Oh my it's god! Home and Jew, bro. Oh. <laughs> what happened to the fresh kicks? We're humble today. We're really humble, bro. Okay. <laughs> I see you. Oh my god. Bro, where have you been? I've been dead. Were you under a rock the whole time? I've been living. Jesus Christ. Nice. Mm. Told you I'm the master decaler. I should have clean, but yes, it is. Thanks for coming, Preston. Thanks for coming, Preston's girlfriend. We'll see you tomorrow. And JX. Always coming. Sydney. Oh, I'm dead. Did you forget my name? No, I like tomorrow. You got a new car or what? No, I just cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that was Preston, Sydney, JX. My dad stopped by and he brought the ladder so that we can install the new lights tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go buy the light bulbs tonight so we can have them ready to go in the morning. And you know, we always got to keep fresh batteries. We don't wanna be out of batteries. We printed a one of one hoodie for JX. We did the white t-shirts and then we did the black ones. He was going for that retro, uh, what is it, uh, faded look, you know, on the brand new t-shirt, so it came out pretty clean. Mr. Shoutout. Friday the 13th, new drop, www.killerculture.us, from the USA. Link in the bio. But, Friday, today's a good day to die, part uno, for my Spanish people. That's all good though. All right. So he's gonna drop his goods on Friday, this Friday. <laughs> and um, we're out of here. Today was a good day. We got a lot of work done. The shop is clean. It's ready for, for Tom in to come in tomorrow and you know, look around, see what he thinks. We're gonna get some shirts. A couple of you guys asked for shirts for the Camelbacks. Um, I'm gonna get them printed tomorrow. All I need is the shipping information and I'll send you guys my PayPal for the payment and we're good on that. PayPal. Said PayPal. We ain't doing cash no app. cash app. We ain't doing cash no cash app. app. Money sign killer culture. I'll set the money. Nope. But you won't get the goods. 